everybody, this is Judy Yarborough and Chris Phillips out here at Mural Park in downtown Reedsville. We're going to be filming our um, rocket show today and Chris and I are going to talk to you about our sponsors for our 150 celebration, which, you know, Chris, we couldn't have done it if it hadn't been for these sponsors. Absolutely. And if you haven't gotten uh, one of the 150 magazines, make sure you uh, pick one of those up and get them at City Hall and at the events that we're at. But uh, all of these sponsors have a, an ad in that magazine. And uh, it really came together pretty nicely and, and definitely would not have happened without them. Absolutely. Um, so in, in other shows, we've already had interviews with some of our major sponsors. We were able to do an interview at, at Annie Penn Hospital, uh, Tri-State Steel, the Reasonable Chamber, mm -hmm. and at Shore Sugars. Uh, we had one other major sponsor, and we just weren't able to schedule an interview directly with them, but we want to make sure that everybody knows that Home Trust Bank was also a, a major sponsor. and always willing to be part of anything going on with Team Reedsville. Uh, Jonathan Job and uh, uh, Robin Pigram uh, out at, at, at Home Trust. You know, they're there for any of your banking needs, I'm sure, but just a great part of, of Team Reedsville. Really glad to have them uh, over near Lowe's Food. Absolutely. They're also one of the um, sponsors for the Fab Festival this year, one of the major sponsors. So they really do support Reedsville. Yep, they do. Absolutely. Um, so we've got a lot of other sponsors and Judy, I think we'll just go through uh, tag team here and go through them one by one and give you a little shout out to each one that uh, obviously, uh, as we said, we, we uh, uh, needed needed their help to pull some of this off and uh, we think we want to just recognize them. Yeah. So we'll start out with La Boutique, which is located right down here downtown. I am actually wearing one of her shirts today, um, which she saw me out there and said, wow, I really like that shirt. And I was like, wow, I really like it too. So she has La Boutique here in downtown Reedsville and um, she was established in 2011 and she has some great clothes in there. So it's a wonderful woman's boutique with accessories. And uh, the next one's Blessings by the Bushel. Uh, Jamie Riggs actually is the owner. Uh, Blessings by the Bushel was established in 2015. It was on one end of Scales for here. Uh, it's actually moved down to the uh, the second block, a couple of, about, about middle of the block uh, on the other side here. But uh, just a wide variety of items and blessings by the bushel. You never know what you might find. Uh, different folks have different booths set up. And mm -hmm. um, if, you're, if you're out uh, looking to spend some money, you don't know what, you'll probably find something there. Absolutely, she has all kinds of stuff in there. Um, and always has sales going on, right. so it's great. Coats Collectibles and Antiques was established in 2020, and that's down here at the end of the street, um, down near Market Square towards it, at the very end. But they have some great antiques in there and collectibles. If you have not been in that store, you can find some really cool stuff in that store. They have got some great things in there. Yeah, they, they, uh, they do a good job on their uh, displays as well. It's really, uh, uh, really kept well and nice, nice place to stroll around. And, yeah, you can find some great stuff. Um, the next one on the list is, is Mishmash. Uh, Tammy Meltrit owns Mishmash. She's been downtown for a, a good long time. Uh, some of the most uh, unique gift uh, or decorating ideas in there. She does huge things for each season. So right now she's got fall and Halloween, but uh, she'll have this store packed full of Christmas stuff. And um, it's, it's neat. When I go in there and I see stuff, I think I've never seen anything like this in uh, any other store. It's just really unique and, uh, and she's always uh, always got a smile behind the counter as well. Absolutely and she used to be in a smaller store and it expanded so um, and right now you should see her Halloween display. She's got an incredible Halloween display in her room. Oh yeah we were, yeah. We were walking downtown this weekend and looked at it. Mm -hmm. she had a, yeah. a whole family of skeletons. Yeah. Cafe 99, um, Dave Gerald's and if you don't know Dave he is like a major um, uh, supporter of Reedsville, always has been ever since he opened his business in 1999. Um, he's got Cafe 99 right downtown. It's open for lunch Monday through Fridays, but he does a lot of catering business as well. Yeah, um, pretty affordable lunch and uh, specials every day. Um, I don't, uh, not, I don't think I've ever had anything I didn't like. No, anymore. I like everything. In yeah, there. <laughs> so I try. You know, it's not the, on my keto plan, but it's good. It is good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, Scale Street Music uh, is currently owned by Rachel Amick. She uh, bought it in 2021. Uh, got all kinds of instruments, big and small. Uh, they also do lessons uh, there. Um, the Scale Street Music's been around for a pretty good while uh, here on, on Scale Street, but 
Uh, the new owners have had it now almost two years, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yep, and she does. She helps us out greatly with our events, um, having music set up downtown at different locations. So, she's, yeah, she really helps us out. Um, the old corner shop, which is located right here on the corner um, by the R, and that's another store that you will find anything you're looking for in there. Um, she has all kinds of cool stuff in there, um, and that's Christina Davidson. And she started that in 2017 and has done pretty well with it. Yeah, it, it, I'm amazed sometimes going there and see what you can find. Um, it's uh, another just variety. It, eclectic. You yeah. find all kinds of stuff in there. Yeah. Uh, one of the newer businesses in downtown, uh, the Leaf & Teller. Uh, great addition, uh, Amanda and Justin Ward uh, took uh, what's one of the uh, oldest buildings down here, but really uh, a landmark of reasonable because of the turret. Uh, it's the old um, uh, Bank of Reasonable building that's uh, right at the uh, roundabout mm -hmm. and uh, has the current, uh, the current version, what they're using for it's a reception hall. Um, venue. It's mm -hmm. a venue that can be rented out and they did a great job renovating it. Um, it's really neat, it still has a huge vault uh, from when it was a bank in it. But um, I'm sure if you have any uh, needs for a venue, they'd love to talk to you. Yeah, they, they have a great venue in there, it's really nice. Um, we've got Horizons of North Carolina, Jennifer Gunn, and they offer mortgages. They have been around for a long time here in Reedsville. Yeah. They're not located right downtown, but they're here in Reedsville, and they have really, they've been around for a long time offering mortgages to people that are looking to buy homes. Um, and our next sponsors, really uh, the next two, Century 21, uh, the Knowles team also, uh, Knowles does property management and rentals. But Teresa Knowles, uh, established in 2004, but I think maybe it's been around longer. It, it's been, it, yeah, it's been around a long time. Teresa's been uh, doing real estate in Reason for a good long while, and uh, um, and also having the ability to handle property management. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of folks may uh, have a piece of property they're interested in renting, but there's a lot that goes along with it. So That's having right. a professional manage it uh, is a help. Yep, absolutely. So Mount Jubilee Ministry, Cecil Cottrell and. Um, I will tell you that is an incredible organization. My daughter um, volunteered there this summer um, to help them out with um, his path and she thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, Chris, I know you've been involved in that. Uh, I've been fortunate to be on the board for Mount Jubilee Ministries. Um, they um, work with the uh, IDD population, um, have a, uh, a yearly camp out at the 4 H Center for uh, adults with, with uh, intellectual disabilities, but also a, a day program, his path. Mm -hmm. But uh, it is a, a wonderful ministry. If you want to know more about it, Cecil uh, loves to tell anybody he can about it. So, um, Great another, organization. Yes, it sure is. Uh, the next one has been around since 1931. So one of our older businesses in town, McLaurin Funeral Home. Mm -hmm. Of course, the McLaurin family uh, has been in, in, in business there uh, since then. Currently, Tom McLaurin is the uh, the current uh, owner operator of McLaurin Funeral Home. But, um, you know, one of those businesses, and we have a couple more on here that uh, mm -hmm. folks will need at some point. That's and, right. Uh, we're glad that they are here to serve our community. Right, and they they were originally located on the block. So they were part of the block um, right. businesses, yeah. Yep. So, um, and we don't have a lot of those left anymore. So it's nice that we still have a few that are still in operation. Absolutely. Um, all right, so Penrose Car Wash. Um, and Sandy Cross General Store was purchased by Ira and Amy Tilly, and um, they have been operating it for a few years. Um, Penrose Car Wash was established in 1970, and Sandy Cross General Merchandise Store was um, in 1988. And if you've not been out to Sandy Cross General Merchandise Store, they've got some really cool stuff out there, too. And they're very involved in the community out there. Well, and um, I know that, that Ira was able to upgrade the car wash uh, when he bought it yep. a couple of years ago, so they have some... Um, new equipment out there if you're uh, looking to uh, the vacuum works I can tell you that yeah. <laughs> uh, I've had to go out there and use it works and he has the really ice well. machine out there that's right there is one of his ice machines there mm -hmm. yeah uh, also uh, the next one's Arthur's jewelry so Arthur's has actually been around since 1979 and uh, Gene Arthur is the current uh, uh, owner and jeweler there uh, I think he's second generation with Arthur's uh, of course they're out on freeway drive beside the uh, they're right beside Subway. Um, they would do a great business, all kinds of jewelry, big and small. So if, you, uh, if you're looking for a little gift for any any reason, uh, Arthur's is a great place to go. Uh, give, them, give them a chance. I send my husband out there yearly. <laughs> 
So we got Powell Barefoot Agency. Um, of course, they're located right down here downtown. Um, they are an insurance agency and they carry all kinds of insurance. And they were established in 1918. 1918, They've been around a long time. Yeah, they sure have. Yeah. Um, uh, Riesel Christian Church uh, chose to be a sponsor mm -hmm. as well. Uh, actually, the, that church in 1912. I know. So uh, some of the churches in town are some of our, uh, obviously, our longest continuous businesses. But um, Riesel Christian Church is over on um, uh, South Park. South Park, mm -hmm. yeah, across from uh, the uh, high school, middle school, uh, right over there. And um, looking for a place to go on Sunday for worship. I'm sure they'd be. Uh, Love to welcome you there one Sunday. It's a nice church, and um, they used to be located just a few blocks down here in Reedsville, um, down there on the corner. Uh, uh, right past the right past the factory. Right past the factory on the left. Um, yeah. But then they built the church out there on um, South Park, so it's it's a nice church. Um, Truist now Truist has been in Reedsville for just a couple of years. Well, yeah, right? of course, everybody. If you don't know, Truist Bank is was formerly bb &T. Yeah. So they've been, uh, it's bb t been around for a, a long time, had a presence in the region. The Truist still has a presence uh, here on Main Street. Mm -hmm, they do. So we, we, we love that. First Carolina Bank, you got Miranda, Ashley there. They were established in 2012, and they started out as Reedsville Bank, and then they were bought out by First Carolina Bank. So um, it's a great local bank. Right. Another one of our oldest, this may be the oldest on the list, is uh, Wilkerson Funeral Home. So they actually were established in 1909. Wow. I think Wilkerson's on their uh, third generation, maybe fourth generation uh, of business. Ted Hopkins is currently the, the I guess, the, uh, the, the operator there at, at Wilkerson Funeral Home. Um, but again, uh, a lot of families know, uh, know Wilkerson, but uh, service that's definitely needed from time to time and they do make you feel like family when you have to go there. Absolutely they do. They helped us a lot with my mom so yeah. Pete's Burgers and more. Now somehow I just think 1980 they've not been around since before that? Uh you know that used to be Burger Chef that building I think. <laughs> okay. Uh, I remember Burger Chef so I guess it was probably about 1980 but uh, Pete's obviously Pete Parks Mm -hmm. uh, started Pete's and uh, he's no longer with us but the Parks family still owns Pete's and uh, it's become a real reasonable staple. I'm, I'm glad they were able to uh, participate because this magazine wouldn't have looked right without Pete's being in I know, in it there. wouldn't have been right without yeah. Pete's being in there. That's like the burger place. Yeah, the next one, uh, 1932, Strader's Shoe Store. So uh, Strader's began downtown Reedsville and then uh, it was uh, an early uh, store in, in Penrose Mall when it, right after it was first built. Not, it wasn't an original store, it was uh, later it went there, but uh, soon after the mall was built. Sam Lindsay's the current owner, and uh, I'll just have to give a little shout out. I worked at Strainers. There you go. In high school, so I <laughs> uh, uh, was able to work there for, for a year, but uh, still doing uh, shoes, still doing a great job. No telling how many kids, not only in Riesel, but in this geographic area that their first shoes came from Strainers. That's right, and I love it. On their Facebook page, they always post those little kids in their first little pairs of yep. shoes. They're so cute. Yep. Yep. Yeah, quality shoes there for sure. Mayberry Restaurant. Now, Mayberry is a staple that's been around for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Great place to, to go get a quick bite. Um, and, you know, when's not a good time for ice cream? I know, always. Always it's a good time for ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, City Funeral Home, that's our third funeral home on the list. Of course, City Funeral Home has been around for a long time as well, 1938. Uh, they are uh, they are on their fourth generation. I know Robbie City uh, is currently, uh, the, the, I guess, the manager there at City. I, I don't know if he's a manager. Robbie's the, uh, definitely one of the visitor directors. But um, uh, four generations and still providing the same quality service that they have. Uh, for you know, going on 100 years. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? 